Hello and welcome to web learning where knowledge is shared. In today's video I'll show you how to use the duck wave generator. So let's get started. The duck is very easy to use. The uh, only thing you need to do is peripheral initialization. Start the process of the duck using the hal duck start command and then set the values using the hal duck set value command. So what we're going to do is just open the project ID between user code 2 and end user code 2 we'll put the halduck start and between the user code 3 we'll use the halduck set value so let's see how it, this works as always I'm using the stm 32 cubemix to start my project access to MCU selector I go into the board selector L03 that I'm using as this board doesn't have any oscillators I click on the RCC and I'm disabling both oscillators as I'm going to use the internal oscillator. I can go to duck and click out one configuration. There is nothing I need to do here and there is no trigger because I'm using the software. Clock configuration as always I can move this to 32 megahertz. Click enter on the project manager give it a project name find a folder for this. I'm using the true studio and you can leave everything else as usual and click generate code. Open project. As now we have the project open, we can go to Duck Wave, SRC, main. And as I said before, user code begin to. So how duck start in the H duck and duck channel one. User code begin three. This is where the while one loop is. Here, all we need to do is to set the values. So here is the value of the duck. I can put here any number, either hex or decimal or binary. Another thing I can do is put a value. In, the, in our case, what I'll do, I'll put the value duck, but I need also to declare this, uint32. Okay, so we declared the value that we can change. Going back to our program, I'll try to make a sine wave. I can see I made a mistake here. Instead of duck, I wrote ADC. And at the end, we'll put a small delay. Let's compile this. Debug. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll get notification when I'm uploading new videos. And also let me know what you think in the comments or other videos you want me to make. Thank you.